For as long as there's been glass, people have been breaking it. It's not a question of if glass will break, it's when. What most people don't know is that they're cleaning it up all wrong. So in the immortal words of NPR icon Ira Glass, stay with us. Clean up those dramatic pauses, Ira. Act one, picking up the pieces. Humans spend their entire lives surrounded by glass. And just like a new character on Orange is the New Black, there are so many ways to get cut. It's true, it's crazy how much we interact with glass. Here's the problem though, Rand, when it comes to cleaning it up, you're doing it wrong. According to BritGlass.org, glass has been around longer than man has. But it wasn't until 1500 BCE that the first hollow glass container was made by covering a sand core with a layer of molten glass, which is the same recipe for creating Mickey Rourke's complexion. So brittle, so lifelike. And if glass vases as we know them began in 1500 BCE, then the issue of how to clean up a broken glass vase started the very next day. Which would be the same day that the phrase, this is why we can't have nice things, was invented. Was invented. But glass really didn't get blowing until the mid 17th century with the invention of lead crystal glass by George Ravenscroft. Aside from being my favorite Harry Potter character, really? I've been more of a Griffin Schmidt fan in You're my day. You're a Griffin day. Schmidt fan? Yes, I am. Ravenscroft attempted to counter the effect of clouding that sometimes occurred in blown glass by introducing lead to the raw materials used in the process. Interesting personal side note, our last name Sklar actually means glass blower in Russian. It does. In English, it has come to mean small Jewish comedians. Thanks to Ravenscroft, now here we are, a human race surrounded by glass with no clue how to properly clean it up when we break it. The first mistake most people make when trying to clean broken glass is grabbing a broom. Lily Fink Harrington from BonAppetit.com says, never, under any circumstances, use a broom. Glass can get stuck in the bristles and come loose later. If you must use a broom, throw it away afterwards and get a new one, which is the most first world thing I have ever said. And one sure way to get yourself kicked off the Griffin Schmidt Quidditch team. You retire that broom, son. Bonappetit.com tells us that another mistake many people make is cleaning up too small an area. Glass can spread up to 15 feet on impact. 15 feet, or as we like to call it, a putt that Tiger Woods can't make anymore. Four. And finally, people are always making the mistake of picking up broken glass with their bare hand. Come on, people, you're not in the circus. You could get a small piece lodged in your hand or get cut by a larger shard. So how can we clean up broken glass correctly, Randy? Well, the good folks at BonAppetit.com tell us that the first step is to put on gloves. They're not just for magicians anymore. Then with the gloves on, pretend you're a magician and make as many of the big shards disappear as possible. Henning! They go on to tell us that for the very small pieces of glass, a vacuum cleaner works great. But if the glass is on a table or kitchen counter, reach for the bread. Did you just say reach for the bread? I just said reach for the bread. Place a slice of bread on top of the shards of glass and, and press evenly. Like Leonardo DiCaprio in a room full of models, everything will get picked up. To finish the cleanup, you need to go full on Dexter and wipe everything down, including the vacuum. So remember, the best way to clean up broken glass, dress up like a magician, waste a couple of slices of marble rye, and then decide how much you like your damn broom, Harry Potter. For Randy, I am Jason. For Jason, I am Randy. And you're this doing has been, you're do, doing it you're, wrong. My line, don't my do it, thing. don't do it. I wanted it. You're doing it wrong. I like to use like a 15 grain they don't even make 15 grand. They I, should. No, this is the, that's the only thing white bread like is good for Like a pumpernickel, pumpernickel. Does anyone buy white bread anymore? Just pure Does anyone buy bread? pumpernickel anymore? I do. Like a full on pumpernickel loaf? I throw, me a, throw me a loaf of the nickel. Uh, yeah, give me some pea nickel, b Some pea nickel up that's in here. That's what I want. That's what you say to your people or you? I have bread people, yes. Bread people. I have bread people. Next time on You're Doing It Wrong. It still takes a person to charge a phone and that's where the wrongness begins. The most common mistake people make is just plugging in their phones and hoping for the best. Guys, you can't just plug it in and hope for the best. This isn't your prom night. <laughs> <laughs>